This ongoing pandemic is affecting every part of our lives, including schools. A North Kansas City School District is really struggling. We reported last week North Kansas City schools are almost at a breaking point. Dr. Dan Clemens is the superintendent of North Kansas City Schools, and he joins us on Zoom this midday. Dr. Clemens, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, I want to reflect on a letter you wrote last week. It said uh, the pace of the last two weeks is not sustainable. If we cannot flatten the curve, we will not be able to continue face-to-face -face instruction. With that letter, what reaction did you get and where are we right now? Well, we received a lot of support from our community and, and a lot of our folks didn't understand the toll it was taking on um, teachers and substitutes and bus drivers when when they are exposed they have to quarantine as well and so we it was really a workforce issue for us that was driving some of the content within that letter so let's talk about the substitute teacher situation the pool is being stretched thin regular teachers in the classroom are quarantining um, how are you making sure that the buildings are staffed, that classes have teachers? Yeah, we went through and looked at everybody that's available to sub, and they are now being subs for us. Some of our district administrators, system principals, teaching and learning coaches, paraprofessionals, it's all hands on deck, and, and that's how we are able to continue to move forward with school. In addition, um, our numbers have been somewhat high at, at a handful of buildings, and and we have moved them to virtual, which has allowed us to utilize some of the, their staff to sub in other buildings. So you actually had to close some buildings and, uh, and move those students to remote learning? Yes, yes. Um, we, we have some data, some criteria that we look at. We look at the 14-day history of, of cases, um, the trend, um, if we're sloping in the wrong direction, and then just our positivity rate as compared to the, to the um, community rate and then again, the ability to staff it. And, and so we're looking at 48 hour closures. Sometimes we can partner that up with a weekend and, and it has been effective for us. We are able to do our contact tracing and, and kind of get a fresh start. Is there some glimmer of hope? Are there some bright moments that we can, can look at this? Because you guys are really struggling in, in terms of in the Metro, your school district is seeing you know, more cases and really being stretched to the max. Yeah, I think there is a glimmer of hope. You know, we're going to continue to manage it the best we can. As long as we can have um, our, our workforce continue to show up and, and we can continue to just close down a particular school or two and, and continue to drive forward, there are places within our school district that are doing pretty well. Um, but, you know, we have lots of buildings and, and some are doing well, some are not. And so if we can just continue to manage through this um, to get on the back side, I, I do think that there's hope. What is the one thing you want the public to do? What can we as you know, parents, as members of the community do to help North Kansas City Public Schools? Well, first of all, if you'd like to substitute, <laughs> sign up with us or drive a school bus. <laughs> but most of all, I think it's just, you know, wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance when you can. And, and you know, just try to keep those gatherings to under 10 like uh, everybody keeps um, asking us to do. And, and for heaven's sakes, if you're not feeling well or if your student is not feeling well, please don't, don't go to, to work or school. Um, that seems to be the, the biggest trouble we're having is, is kids that are coming to us that aren't feeling well, that are later testing positive, that are knocking out several staff members along the way that will have to quarantine. All right, so parents, keep your kids home if they are not feeling well and stay masked. And, of course, wash our hands and social distance. Those are the messages. Uh, Dr. Dan Clemens, Superintendent, North Kansas City Public Schools, thanks so much for joining us.